show this lady j squeaks anyhow it's an unboxing video folks what's new hmm wait hold on let me start this again hi hi <laughs> ah man i love roll intro Sure, folks, welcome back to Marty's Funko Collection. Funko Collection? Yes, what a lekker week. In these boxes, we got some really cool Funko Pops. One isn't really much of a surprise, and that's the grail at the end. Because like a Twazak, I didn't realize that I'd gone and thanked the guy I bought it from on the grail group. And there's some South Africans on that group too. You don't have bad luck. The reason that bad things happen to you is because you're a dumbass. <laughs> but it's not a problem. We're going to show the rest of you anyway. So let's get unboxing and <laughs> there's a baby in the background but i'm gonna ignore it i'll get to it in about five minutes some guys really some oats oh oh cool box number one all the way from the republic no we're not a republic anymore but this one has made its way from cape town cape town let's do the cape town box all right typical collector packaging not fat box with lots of yeah those love those things only problem with these though is i'm always very concerned where they're made though this one looks like who knows because you don't know what's inside it one day i'm going to go and then uh, and you're just gonna laugh because the video is just gonna run but it won't be on, on YouTube because it's not live. <laughs> Anywho, I should actually do this one on some alcohol or something. Then I can be a lot more funny. I can be funny like my dude in Cape Town. My boy! My spook! That oak. Wait, I need to be wearing a face mask. I don't have one that's got teeth and bones. So I'll just not wear one. I'll superimpose one here. Batman! Oh, he's climbing up the counter. Yes, I tell you, for a blind cat, this oak can hoi around the house. Folks, inside this box is a Funko Pop that came up for sale in our group literally this week. And like a scallum, I quickly went sideways and I tuned uh, old Mr. Matthew Fucher. How's it, brew? I want it. And then I played stupid like who bought it. I'm going to leave this here. I'm going to go and fetch the other one. I'll be back. So I went to fetch the other pop and I dropped my recorder for the audio. Because today, for some stupid reason, I've decided to shoot this on an iPhone 12 Pro instead of my proper Sony setup. So I just want to test it out because under controlled lighting, it should do the job. But audio is always cuck on a cell phone. Audio is always cuck on a cell phone. Don't forget that, folks. So if any of you want to start doing YouTube videos, record your sound on something like this bad boy. This is a Zoom F1 LP, LP for lav. But these are actually do your sound recording internally. So I always try and have a separate recorder as opposed to just one microphone on camera. If there's an issue like I had in the beginning days, I could have a backup. So I'm just going to keep it here so I can watch that I don't unplug the bloody thing again. So, <laughs> I'm not sure if the audio went cuck earlier, but if it did, that's why. Right, cool. So, in the box we have a Mr. Broly himself. Okay, so Super uh -huh. Saiyan Broly. Now, this is the Comic-Con 2018. Sorry, the lights are blinding me. Yeah, so 2018 edition. And the reason I got this was mainly to pop. Pop! <laughs> First pop, man, Wayne. Next to that bad boy. So identical Funko. However, one shed and one con. Pew pew. Pew 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 pew. 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 
wow how freaking cool now some oaks have asked me on the sideline when am i going to get the six inch chase glow <laughs> no too big that's what she said yeah i've heard that a lot but one of each so this i think would be a pretty cool addition to the funko family of mine i don't specifically collect dbz's if you're american or dbz's if you're everyone else but i thought yeah why not i've got this little oaky in a cock protector we might actually change that because this is a t one anywho right nicely done funko collection stuff to put in funko collection trying to get me in the screen there boom boom righty nice next one i've got this one open because this my good friend quentin mr smith had popped and fetched it from clover records for me so i bought these two on pre-order from monique and tj and as all of you might have guessed yes it's another art series pop times two but it doesn't matter because they're flipping cool and i like them righty and i've actually established i will be taking the plastic off these things they look cuck in plastic so a nice little side view for you guys so there's old brave little taylor mickey followed by old steamboat this is actually a flipping cool one because being black and white or monochrome or whatever you want to call it it's a little bit different to the rest so it's not just full color and stuff it's a flipping cool lacquer le or funko i hope that iphone is doing its job in focusing correctly but who cares i'm having fun i don't mind ah so these are the walmart editions now if any of you guys are following this series there's a new wave coming of funko weens as well as amazon exclusives so i've got some cool ones coming from amazon which will be the donald duck and the goofy i think yeah then through another local reseller i'm getting oogie boogie maya and sally so the funko Ween releases those will be a sort of what fourth quarter i think but not too long because time flies righty mr kershaw let's cut open the next box now this funko box here now if i'm honest with most of you guys i do sometimes open boxes when i receive them it's just to make sure that the funko is inside the one i order um, and then of course if the box is quite damaged and so on i also want to make sure that the funko is okay but this particular one has only been opened by customs or at least aramex when it arrived and this is a spastic spastic collectibles mystery hat box hat box ghost mystery whatever they wanted to call it all right now with the, <laughs> i hate mystery boxes i've said to guys before i used to do a lot of them and always always have been disappointed for me mystery boxes are just a way for a lot of dealers to kind of get rid of stuff uh clearing lines and things like that but spastic had it for 80 dollars and had a guaranteed minimum value of 70 dollars so i thought to myself oh you know what worst case scenario if there's um no fantastic grail in there then so be it i haven't lost too much hold thumbs for me people hold them in your hands like this let's see what we got so i'm going to do a blind open i'm going to just pull and i don't know how they've packaged it okay it's all in one piece of bubble wrap oh crap it's one piece of bubble wrap so i'm just going to stick it here behind this box all right so it's one piece of bubble wrap which is cool and i'm just going to pull boom what is that that's the grinch books which grinch please don't be the one i have no oh wow box lunch exclusive china and it's flocked if you're hearing background noise that's the blind batman playing in a box so when i throw these boxes he plays with him so i don't hit you on the head boy right very very cool so the grinch max the grinch oh that's quite lucky he's holding it looks like a plate with a turkey on so there we go you can have a looky and look look so it's a flocked grinch from box lunch exclusive that's quite a funky funko i don't know if i'll keep it it doesn't fit my collection very well but bear in mind folks i did this mystery box purely to see if spastic does some cool stuff if not i can always pop them up for sale next one we have looks like a star wars uh, and it is it's a star wars stormtrooper so it's the gold edition stormtrooper which is a 2019 galactic convention yeah pretty tit so that's like the princess leia version they did that's quite a funky funko nice 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 
if I'm not getting this camera to focus on me. Stupid. Yeah, so nice little addition. This is a what year? 2019, but I think stamp was 19, yeah. Very cool. I think these are probably around 300, 400 bucks range. So, so far we're doing okay. They're not the crappiest ones out there. Next one we've got, I'm also not looking, trying not to damage it. Uh, Batman 80 years. Oh my word, this is the Dawnbreaker. Oh wow. Like I said, I'm not a Batman fan, but the Dawnbreaker is actually a freaking nice pop. This oak I'm actually going to open. I'm not going to sell this oak because this will go quite nicely in my... I've got a different display separate to everything else, which is just cool Funkos. It doesn't matter what they are. But this is flipping epic, man. Right, let me bring me and my sound recorder with. Put it in my pocket. All right, let me... I can't really see how well I'm doing, yeah? When I look, I've got a mirror behind me, so I can use that as a reference. Hey, hey, hey. How flipping lacquer is that oak? It's the Green Lantern. Batman. So don't break it. There you can see the Green Lantern logo. That's flipping epic, man. That's a cool Funko Pop. Damn it. It's almost got like the Green Hornet eyes or to some degree. Or if you really want that push up bra. If you look at his eyes. Look like a nice bikini for the ladies to put on when they go to the sea. Yes, this is quite. Yeah, paint job's bloody good too. Not like some of the other crap I've been getting recently. If any of you guys have the Wolverine Glow, the new version, the, well, the black light, sorry. So if any of you have received the Wolverine black light, do yourself a favor, just check his left eye and just pop a comment below. I would really appreciate your feedback and what you think of that paint job. I think it's quite I'll be honest. But there we go, so that's the 80 years celebration again. It's a very, very cool box. I love these black boxes. I like the red boxes from all the Imperials. It's just something nice and different away from all the common white stuff. Yeah, I'm actually quite happy with that one. That to me, I don't even know what this thing's worth PPG wise, but I think it's flipping cool. So irrespective of what PPG is worth, I'm quite happy with that. Right, I'm gonna stick you off that side because I'm running out of space here. So let's do that. We're still in frame. Yes, we are, because I've got a mirror behind again and I can see nice. Right, last but not least. What the hell is that? What? That's a Peanuts. Oh man, it's an astronaut Snoopy. And that's a convention 2019. Again, I have no idea what the value is on these, but irrespective, this is quite a flippin' cool pop. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it, but he's... No, you know what, I'm opening this. This is, okay, we'll have a look now. That's the box. He's actually got a plastic see-through space helmet on. Sorry guys, I'm, I'm just as new to these now as you are. I just, I haven't done any research, so I wouldn't have a clue. Oh, wow. The hell? That is something very new. Okay, I just wanna check also that my recorder is still going. Yeah, it's still going, the batteries are good. That's nothing you see every day. Check this out, he's got a flippin' like space helmet around his head. That is flippin' cool. It's like one of those eggs you get in those click click machines. That is flippin' lacquer. Good old Snoopy. Old Snoopy Snoops. Flip man. So what is Charlie Brown in this then? Okay, so Charlie Brown, yeah, Linus, Lucy and Sally are all pretty much standards. So we're gonna have a look at the back, see what they're doing. I can move my face in case it's focusing on me. Yeah. How flipping cool is that? That's a lacquer Funko. Don't know if I'll keep it, if I'm honest. But if there's any sort of Snoopy fans out there, anyone who's collecting animation who'd like this Funko, we can maybe do a deal. Maybe on all, even the Star Wars. Actually, no, I think I'm going to keep that. I don't think I've got him. And it is a sticker. I've made a promise to myself. I'm getting rid of all common Star Wars stuff. If it's got a stick, I'll keep it. I don't care what the stick is, even if it's a special edition, so be it. That is flippin' lacquer. <laughs> I think that's really cool. It's different. I haven't seen that before. So, yeah. Now, folks, the moment of truth. For all of you who have not seen my thank you on Facebook Grail Group, this is a very special pop. Now, I have said it before, and I've said it a couple of times. All the OG chasers that I'm hunting down, 
I will not buy other than mint. I don't mind a few box floors, you know, like paint or, but I will not buy torn, dented, scratched, damaged at all. So when I do find a grail, I'm not going to pay less than PPG. Unfortunately, I will have to pay the premium, which I did do on this one. But without any further ado, let's not knock everything else over. But the Funko inside this box, unfortunately, is worth a cack load more than any of these other Okies here. So all the way in from the States, I have opened this one. So I did do it to check the box condition and then also to thank the seller. If I remember correctly, I think it was John, one of the guys on Funko Grails only. So behind me, you will see this series of Funko Pops. So we've got Batman, Robin, Superman, Superman, newer edition. So we've got newer, newer, OG, new, of course, my Spider Glow, the OG Wonder Woman, the Flash, and then the Green Goblin, and so on. Da, 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 da. I do have another old OG, well, no, I don't. I had, I'm not even gonna go into this right now. It's a sad place in my life right now. But I'm not going to go into detail as to why. However, got some bubble wrap. I did remove most of it because the box was full. But ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to stick it there. This Funko. What's that, Batman? Batman. Hey, x -x -x -x. bats. Now he's playing with bubble wrap. Now he's drawing around the house. Lacquer. Go for it, my boy. Okay, so this. Oh, shit. If, I, if you saw it, I'm blurring it. I don't care. Alrighty, lots of bubble wrap. So I'm just going to unbox it around the corner so you don't see. This one has also been supplied in a seven bucks a pop armor. And ladies and gents, feast your eyes on one hell of a beautiful OG. One times. Bat Girl Metallic Chase. Now, what a lot of people don't realize with this particular one is the Bat Girl is actually two variants in the chase. All right, before I go into that detail, so when I say I'm not too worried about like box nicks and things, so I'm not worried about like this paint missing from there, but that you can see is factory paint. There's paint from inside the Funker Pop that happens often on boxes. In fact, if you watched mm, McGregor's video on the other night he had a paint mark in one of his that's pretty standard but as you can see it is as mint and as fresh as you will ever find an og funko box now what you will notice when i say this is the error the funny thing is this error one is actually more common this bad girl has a yellow logo but on a chest try and bring it up close so you can see so i'm trying to work let me actually come to the side of the camera, then I can do it better. There we go. So you can see she actually has a black logo on her chest. So I might end up having to one day get the non-error version. So the one with the yellow on her chest. <sighs> I am so, so happy. Doesn't look like it's ever been opened, which is a good thing. I might do one day, depending on mood and things like that there's a very small possibility i might actually do some unboxing video of these so I take them out and actually get some close-up shots for you uh, i know a lot of guys don't like to do that especially if the serial numbers under the feet are shown um you know to keep the fake market away but i couldn't care less it's really just to showcase to you so even i do that i might just blur the feet don't be too worried about that but yes ladies and gents and of course if any of you are wondering the seven bucks a pop armor is one of the most solid stack protectors money can buy. Uh, what I didn't showcase to you as well with this particular one, when I opened it, when I got it, there was a lot of box cutter knife stuff gone through the, through the box. And as you can see on this armor box, you can see there's a scratch. Yeah, there's a perfect example. So there's a nice deep scratch. So that was our customs guys with their big fat box cutters. Um, I honestly think they use machetes to be honest because damn I mean the box this came in was a, and there was that much of a gap between the box and the Funko so I think they've taken it out and gone straight through the bubble wrap Muchus man they're muchus they don't care about our things and that's again another reason why I'm so adamant about overseas shippers making sure it's 
this thick with metal, steel, aluminum, whatever. Protect the bloody thing. Now, I've got some really cool stuff coming from Malaysia soon. And I'm going to give you a perfect example of possibly the best shipper in the world, hands down. This guy's shipping. I mean, when he sent me images of his process right through the end, I thought I was going to be in for about 20 grand in shipping costs. The stuff he does for the Funkos. But anyway, that's to come. But again, guys and girls, I'm going to put that in there. I'm actually going to try and do a butane torch. I'll take the pop out ladder and see if I can melt away. Because this is acrylic. Most acrylics you can actually burn with a butane torch if you're careful. I wouldn't suggest it on a hard stack. They're quite thin. And you might be able to actually burn away that and still keep a nice sheen without noticing any damage. But, folks, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate the love. And again, Santhan, congratulations on that flipping awesome WAF win last week. Man alive, what a machine. That freaking Funko is one of the nicest available. But with that being said, next time you watch this guy, this funny looking Joburg dude, this baby will be with her family. So until next week, stay safe. Hopefully we're not into a shit hard lockdown when you watch this. But so be it. Got to get rid of Rona. Bye. Pow. Pow. pow, pow, pow. Man, she's beautiful. How does, how does ghost do it? Oh. Oh. Wait. Oh.